Hi, my name is Sarah Norris, and the purpose of this video is for me to explain some of the characteristics and some of the dispositions that I think that'll help me be a successful teacher, and some that I think that I need to work on before I become my first year teacher. So some of the characteristics that I think that'll make me a successful teacher is that I love to listen to people, whether it's my mom or whether it's little kid or my friends, if they have a problem or if they wanna talk, we sit down and they start talking while I listen and I will help do my best to help them through whatever they're going through. And another thing that I think that will make me a successful teacher is that I love to do hands-on stuff because personally I learn better with hands-on instead of just sitting down being lectured. So if I was teaching a class, instead of lecturing about a English assignment, I would have all of the kids either write down on their own whiteboards or write down on a piece of paper on what they think and stuff like that, like hands-on instead of just me telling them what to do and telling them about the stuff. What dispositions that I think I should work on is a little bit more patience. I have patience, but sometimes if a kid is not listening or if it's just getting on my nerves or I'm having a bad day, I need to learn how to separate my emotions and separate my mindset. So then I'm more patient with the kids or more patient with whoever I'm talking to, whether it's the parent or my mom or the kids. Another thing that I need to work on is learning how to separate my personal feelings and my personal emotions when teaching kids or when a kid is coming up to me and asking me questions or is ask, or telling me about something that happened, I should I need to put away my personal aspect and I need to show them that I care and I need to show them that I'm willing to help them as much as I possibly can and not just start crying in front of the kid because of how sad the story is or not getting angry because a kid messed up on an assignment or a kid messed up on something they weren't supposed to do. That's what I need to learn and work on before I become a first year teacher. Some qualities that I think professional educators should display as a warm, kind facial expressions. Cause I know when I'm walking around campus and I'm alone and I'm in my own world, my face isn't very welcoming or warming because I'm not thinking about it. And that's also another thing I need to work on. But if an educator has a warm, kind facial expression, students feel more comfortable to go up to them and ask questions because they don't look as mean or as scary when you wanna go ask them a question, especially to little kids. Another quality that I think educators need is patience. I think patience is one of the main things that an educator should display because when I was in seventh grade, I always wanted to ask questions and I asked questions to my seventh grade math teacher, but she was losing her patience and she didn't understand how, why I didn't know what was happening, what she was teaching because I still kept asking questions. But I feel like if she would have had more patience with me and understood more, of what was happening, then I would have gotten a lot more out of the class. So I think that an educator needs to have patience when it comes to kids and when it comes to anyone teaching because every kid di learns differently and they need to ask questions if they have questions or if they don't have questions. Questions are going to be, if, going to be there. So I think educators should have patience and a nice warming face to go up to.